Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a Poshmark Bolo video for you guys. There are 23 Poshmark Bolo's items that I sold on Poshmark. Um, I purchase items at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, and I resell them. That's what I do. And we are gonna get started. And I'm gonna show you what I sold on Poshmark. There are no clothing items. I am only gonna show you my hard goods. Um, Let's go. All right. The first item I sold is okay. So these came from a garage sale and they just had a bunch of like random items like this. And I bundled them all together and I asked them for a price. And they're just like little toys. And they sold for $30. They're cheap little toys. I mean, they're probably like from the dollar store or something. I have no idea. I, they're very, very cheap, but they'd be great for like giveaways, like at a school or like at a, like a, a festival, an event of sorts, you know, just something to give as little prizes or I don't know. So I just picked them up and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to lot them up and I'm going to throw them on Poshmark. And they sold for $30 and the buyer paid shipping party favors. That's the word I'm looking for. The next item I sold, now, I said no clothes, but the reason I'm showing you this is, um, it's a bundle. And you can see here, I got these vintage drawer pulls. These came from a garage sale and I got these free. And they bundled them with these two shirts. So that's another thing that is great about Poshmark. So this person paid one shipping price for all three items because they were in a bundle. And as long as it's five pounds or less, I don't have to upgrade my label. So they paid the shipping. So I got $60 for these three items. Poshmark took 12 and my earnings were 48. So this was a garage sale shirt, this sweater. And I believe this Nautica shirt was also. So I probably have less than $5 in everything. The next item I sold is this Melissa and Doug wooden jigsaw puzzle. These items are super easy to find at um, garage sales. This one was actually still sealed. So I don't like selling these type of things on eBay or Mercari because they're kind of heavy, but they're a great Poshmark item because it ships for one price. And I was thinking maybe somebody would bundle it, but they actually just bought it outright for $7 and they paid the shipping. So did I make a lot of money? No, this is a major bread and butter item but you can get these so cheap at garage sales, sometimes even the thrift stores. Okay, the next item I sold is this Winnie the Pooh and Piglet ornament. I sell ornaments all year round, so I just keep them listed. This one, I wanna say this came from a garage sale. I can't remember. I think I sat on this one for a little bit. The box is damaged, but I did end up selling it for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came from a garage sale. If I remember correctly, this was a dollar and it sold for $28. It's a vintage Victorian ballerinas figurine and it is made in Japan. And I love selling anything made in Japan. And I have a whole video on items to be on the lookout for that are made in Japan. So definitely go check out that video. So this is a little vintage 1998 Hallmark keepsake Christmas ornament. It sold for $15. I got this in a mystery box for probably like 50 cents. The next item I sold is this vintage signed Takoa. Takoa? T-A-C-O, so like taco, <laughs> Takoa. <laughs> anyway, it's a brooch. It looks like a wreath. And I believe this came out of my, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, bulk buy. And again, I talked about this in another video. This is a great tool to get for measuring jewelry to show size in your photos. And I believe I have a link down in the description. Um, I bought mine on eBay. Sorry, I have a hair. <laughs> All right. This came from a garage sale. I picked up like five or six of these at a garage sale. And I think I ended up having like a dollar or a dollar fifty in each one. Uh, this did take a little while to sell, but um, it's lip sense. And I'm not sure if you're allowed to sell this on eBay. I know some of the direct sales you're not, um, but I don't know if it's like 
eBay that has a problem with it, or if it's the company, if you like sell for the company, I'm not really clear on all of that. So I just put this on um, Poshmark. I don't believe I put it on eBay if I remember correctly. And it sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this cardboard advertising coaster ring sizer. So this is just a, um, Zanesville is in Ohio. It's not far from me. And I picked these up at a garage sale and I just thought these were cute, interesting, um, because you basically put your finger in the hole and it tells you what size ring you wear. I just thought it was kind of cool. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to list those separately. I had three of them and they have all sold. So the next item I sold is this vintage Alice in Wonderland book came from a garage sale. I paid a dollar for it and it sold for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this lot of 10 small pendants. Um, I purchased a lot of jewelry on eBay and these items were a part of it. And I put these in a small lot and I sold these for $21 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Shopkins Snowmobile doll minifigure toy lot. So I love picking stuff up like this at garage sales and thrift stores and I bundle them up and I make little bundles of toys and people buy them. And I sold this for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. I think Poshmark and Mercari are both great for um, selling toys. And if you guys haven't tried Mercari, definitely go check out my um, What Sold Mercari videos because it's a great platform. And I use List Perfectly to cross post my items. I typically start my items on eBay and then I will cross part, gosh, I can't talk, I'm sorry, cross post to Poshmark or yeah, Poshmark and Mercari from eBay. And if you guys are interested in trying List Perfectly, you can get 30% off your first month with Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that's a referral code that'll get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. And I said this in my other video, um, I have a Facebook group, and if you guys have questions, you're more than welcome to reach out to me there. There's a link down in the description. I've been using it for over a year. I love it. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Um, I'm not an expert. I don't use the catalog. Um, they did just make the catalog. Uh, there's no additional fees if you go over the limit um, of catalog items now. It's now unlimited. So that is a great, fantastic new perk of List Perfectly. So uh, Paw Patrol Robo Dog. This is a bath squirter toy, you guys. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? It's Robo Dog. I'm going to list this separately. And I sold it for $12. You guys, it's just a little toy. Let me show you. Look, he's not very big. Right there. What, three inches? You put it in the bathtub and you like squeeze it and it puts water in its mouth and you squirt it. And it sold for $12. I think that was in a mystery box or it was like a garage sale toy lot that I bought. The next item I sold is this vintage Christmas paper honeycomb decorations. So if you're not familiar with the word honeycomb, it's when the item opens and it has this shape that is called honeycomb. So use that descriptive word in your title. Here's the snowman. And these came from a garage sale and I sold these for $15. The next item I sold was this vintage rainbow suspenders and this 1988 Walt Disney calendar. So the rainbow suspenders came from the I Got It Free garage sale and I can't remember where the calendar came from. So um, the person did message me and she was buying these items for her sister for Christmas and I guess her sister had both of these items as a kid. So it was kind of like going down memory lane for her. So it was really, really cool. I'm not sure if the items arrived by Christmas because it was when we were having all the shipping delays. But either way, they sold um, for $35. Posh took seven and my profit was $28. And again, the suspenders were free and I'm guessing I had less than a dollar in the calendar. The next item I sold is this Shimmer and Shine Genie Talking Magic flying carpet dolls and the dolls do come off and again garage sales thrift stores look for these items sold these for $20 and the buyer paid shipping and 
And this is a Dr. Seuss Grinch Jumbo Foam Adhesive Shapes. And I know I got this at a garage sale. It was like a bulk bundle buy. So I probably had less than a dollar in it and I sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this 1997 Kenner uh, Dale Earnhardt car and it's new in the package. I think they gave me like four for feedback. So I don't know what they were unhappy about, but um, I sold this for $14 and I picked it up at a garage sale. The next item came out of a mystery box. It's a vintage Hallmark 1981 ice fairy ornament. And I sold this for $25 and the buyer paid shipping and they left me really, really nice feedback. And they were really happy with how I boxed the item, which is kind of funny because um, I've been getting all of these, like, um, uh, what do you call them? Like the tins um, in these mystery boxes. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to use those around Christmas time and put stuff in them and use them as my box. And people really liked that. So it was free boxes, basically. The next item I sold is this cake topper. It's from the Disney movie Inside Out. So it's like a cake topper slash toy figure and it's Jangles the Clown. This sold for $12. This is like this big, you guys, $12. So definitely look these toys up. All right, I sold these three Lego Bionicles. I bought a huge lot of Lego Bionicles. Um, most of them were already assembled. I still have a probably a 35 gallon tote full of ones that are not completely assembled. And I'm like, someday I'll get to that. So basically what I did is I have listed the ones that I was able to figure out and the rest are going to sit in a tote for now. Um, I sold these three for $90. Poshmark took 18. So my earnings on this was $72. I sold this vintage purple hand-blown art glass grapes. And I always pick up fruit if it's glass if it's stone, um, people use it as decor, like in their kitchen. And I want to say this was a dollar at a garage sale and I sold this for $25. And the next item is this Blaze and the Monster Machines die cast truck. Get these on Poshmark, get these on eBay, get these on Mercari. They do sell the monster trucks. And they will sell if you list them separately. A lot of people choose to bundle them, which is fine, but um, they will sell individually. So I love selling toys. Um, if you guys watch my channel, that's something where I'm really trying to expand my knowledge. And Google Image, um, I think it's Google Lens, is fantastic for identifying toys. So definitely, definitely use that. And don't pass the toys by guys. I'm telling you, there is money to be made. And again, you know, you just have to find what you like. Um, I also like made in Japan items. I like new old stock items. What else do I like to list? Christmas items. So, um, I don't know, Halloween items. So holiday items, I guess I like Easter. Yeah, all that stuff. So be sure to go check out some of my Bolo category videos. Check out some of my featured seller videos. I'm starting to do those again. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.